Hello and God bless you. This is John PV. Just want to do this quick video to give you something to think about as we move into 2012. Can you tell me what this image is a picture of right now? I mean, look real close. Can you figure out what this image is? I mean, is it a car? Is it a boat? Um, is it, what is it? Can you figure that out? What are your goals or your vision for 2012? Did you think that you would be the richer, healthier, happier, have a better intimate relationship or more friends, experience more joy and have more peace of mind than you do right now? My next question is, what are you going to do to get you to where you want to be? I just want to make this quick video to help you achieve more of what you want in 2012 and beyond. There are a lot of factors that play into why we are not achieving and living the life we are supposed to. I just want to focus on this one part, which is goals and writing your vision. Now, I have many mentors that I've studied, and two of my mentors, Jim Rome, uh, Darren Harding, and Les Brown, and Tony Robbins, and Zig Ziglar, so many of them, you know, they say you must have clearly written goals that have specific plans laid out to achieve them. You see, if Kobe Bryant didn't have any goals or any basketball player didn't have any goals, they could not play the game. They didn't know if they were hitting, missing, how far are they off. They wouldn't even play the game. They would not be the superior basketball players that they are because they don't have the goals. They couldn't practice. What are they shooting after? What are they going after? Why would they be running up and down the court if there's nothing on the other end? What is their purpose? What is the goal? Well, if they didn't have the goals, they couldn't perfect their jump shots, their free throws, the slam dunks, and all of the things that what they do right now. Is that making a little bit more sense to you? How can you play the game of life or live your life without goals? If you put a rocket scientist in a city in a foreign country that he has never been to, and then ask him to find three different destinations in that city without asking anyone for directions, he would be and stay lost. But you could put someone who is just a big dunce or someone who you may consider an idiot, or they may be one can short of a six pack in that same city with a map. He would get to the destination very fast. Why? because he has a map. Even though he has never been there, he could follow the map and he would get to his destination fast because he has a clear map of where he is going. Where is your map? Do you even know where you're at right now? How can anyone help you get to where you're going if you can't even tell us where you're at right now? You need to know where you're at and have a map, a vision, a clear goal of where you're going to. Do you even have your map or vision of where you're going in 2012 and beyond? If not, get your pen out now. You need to write the vision and make it plain. That he may run who reads it. You got to write it down. It just can't be in your mind. You got to write it down so you can see it. For that vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it will speak and will not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come to pass. It will not tarry. That's a scripture in Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3. You've got to write the vision. This is a principle. Your life will seem like you're going in circles because you have no direction or written goals that you're going after. Just having them in your head is not good enough. Write it down. Write it down. You have to write it down. Stop living beneath your privilege. Stop hanging around with chickens and soar with eagles. Soar in 2012. Stop living beneath your privilege. Stop hanging with chickens and soar with eagles. You were designed for success. You have treasure down on the inside of you. You need to unlock that treasure. Walk in the purpose and the destiny that you have. You don't have to live from paycheck to tip paycheck anymore. You don't have to struggle within. Write the vision. There's a lot of other things that go along with this, but this is something that will drastically change your life. Don't live your life hazy, unfocused, unclear, just batting at the wind, no sense of direction or purpose. You're just going after it. We want you to have a successful life. 
You know, look at this kid. He's got it. He knows, man, I'm going to do this. I'm clear. I'm focused. I know what I want to do. You know, I'm going to be doing a continual uh, series on personal development because in order for you to have more, be more, do more, you have to become that. You won't be able to have that, be that or do that until you yourself become better. In order to be better, you have to become better. Does that make sense? You know, in the upcoming teachings in the series that what I'm going to be teaching on, it's going to become very clear to you all the things that you need to do. It is a process, just like it was a process that got you into the situation that you may or may not be in. It's going to take a certain process for you to get out of that. Well, this is John Peavy. You can follow me at johnpeavy.com. This is where I just share some insights and different things uh, that will definitely help you on your journey in 2012. Remember, success is not by chance, but it is by choice. God bless you. You make it a great day.